Welcome. If you have a thirst for history, culture, or science, you're in the right place. Have you ever wondered about the serpent-like beings in various cultures? From the ancient tales of Southeast Asia to the rich folklore of Europe, serpents and serpent-like entities have held a significant place in our collective mythologies. These creatures often represent a wide range of concepts from the divine and the powerful to the fearsome and the protective. The serpent's symbolism is as diverse as the cultures that have embraced it, embodying everything from fertility and water to fire and celestial phenomena. Some are believed to dwell in underground cities, remote caves, or deep within the earth, while others are associated with water bodies or the wilderness. Whether it's the Naga of Hindu and Buddhist traditions, the Agios of Turkish folklore, or the Lindworm from European mythology, every culture has its unique serpent entity, each with its own set of fascinating characteristics and stories to tell. Prepare for a journey of discovery as we delve into the world of serpent beings from around the globe. Let's begin our journey in Southeast Asia with the divine and powerful Naga. In Hindu and Buddhist traditions, Nagas often bear a human upper body and a serpent lower body, signifying their divine status. Their association with water and fertility underscores their power, akin to the life-giving forces of nature. They are believed to inhabit subterranean cities, the most notable being the legendary city of Bhogavati. From the divine Naga, we move to a protective serpent being in Turkish folklore. Enter the Agyos, the guardians of hidden treasures. These serpent-like beings from Turkish folklore are known for their protective nature, often found safeguarding treasures in remote caves or underground chambers. But don't be fooled, these creatures are no pushovers. They are said to wield magical qualities, making them formidable adversaries for anyone daring enough to seek the treasures they guard. Their mystic aura continues to captivate the imaginations of many. Now let's travel to Europe to meet a dragon-like creature. Meet the Lindworm, a creature of curses and heroism. This dragon-like entity finds its roots in European mythology, particularly within Germanic and Scandinavian tales. The Lindworm is often portrayed as a terror to local communities, dwelling in caves or remote places. These creatures are synonymous with curses, often requiring a brave hero to rise and slay them, restoring peace and tranquility to the terrorized locales. From one dragon to another, let's explore Russian folklore. In the heart of Russia, we find the Zelant, a winged serpent. This creature, shrouded in the mystique of Tatar and Russian folklore, is often associated with the city of Kazan, where it's revered as a symbol of protection. Its image is proudly displayed in Tatar heraldry, symbolizing the city's enduring strength and resilience. The Zealant, much like the city it represents, is a blend of the mythical and the real, embodying a unique blend of cultural symbolism. From Russia, we travel to Australia to meet a creator deity. In Aboriginal mythology, we encounter the Rainbow Serpent, a symbol of creation. This creator deity is deeply associated with water, rain, and fertility, playing a fundamental role in the circle of life. It doesn't dwell underground per se, but its mystical essence is often linked to water holes and subterranean features. These associations make the Rainbow Serpent a central figure in Dreamtime stories, where it imparts lessons of unity, respect, and balance. Leaving Australia, we set our sights on Aztec mythology. In Aztec mythology, we meet the fiery Xiuquatl, this mythical serpent, often depicted as a dragon, is a symbol of both destruction and purification. The Aztecs saw fire as a dual force capable of both creation and destruction. Similarly, Xiuquatl embodies this balance, tying together celestial phenomena with the earthly power of fire. This fiery serpent serves as a reminder of the powerful forces at work in the universe and the delicate balance they maintain. From the fiery Shukwadl, we travel back to Russia. Back in Russia, we face the ferocious three-headed dragon, Goranich. Known for its fearsome countenance, Goranich is a creature of formidable power and might. Heroes who encounter this beast are faced with the daunting task of overcoming its fiery wrath. Often guarding captives or treasures in the depths of a dark cave, the dragon's presence is a test of courage and valor. This legendary creature is as much a symbol of danger as it is a testament to the daring spirit of those who dare to challenge it. From Russia, we travel back in time to Greco-Roman mythology. In ancient Greco-Roman mythology, we encounter the unique Amphisbena, 
This fascinating creature is built like no other, boasting a head at each end of its body. This peculiar design grants the Amphisbina the ability to move in either direction without turning around. This unique characteristic has led some to associate the creature with the concept of infinity and cyclical nature, as it seemingly has no beginning or end. From the ancient world, we travel to the realm of Mapuche mythology. In Mapuche mythology, we meet the shape-shifting Nguruvilu. This water serpent is known for its intriguing ability to change forms. It's deeply connected to underwater caves and rivers, serving as their guardian. Legends often portray the Nguruvilu in a dual light, as a force that can be both malevolent and benevolent. Its intriguing character and the significant role it plays in the aquatic ecosystem make it an unforgettable part of Mapuche lore. Finally, we end our journey in China. In Chinese mythology, we encounter the Zhao Long, a dragon associated with water and rain. The Zhao Long is a revered figure symbolizing power, prosperity, and good fortune. Rooted in ancient beliefs, it holds a significant place in the cultural fabric of China. Its association with water signifies its role in agriculture, while rain embodies the life-giving force. The Zhao Long's image is often used in art and architecture, reflecting its deep-seated influence. With the Zhao Long, we conclude our exploration of serpent beings. From Southeast Asia to Europe, from Australia to the Americas, serpent beings permeate our myths and legends. The Naga, revered in Hindu and Buddhist traditions, embody divine power and fertility. The protective agios of Turkish folklore guard hidden treasures, while linworms in European tales symbolize curses and challenges. Russian folklore gives us the Zelant, a winged serpent, and the fierce three-headed Gorinich. The rainbow serpent, a central figure in Aboriginal mythology, symbolizes creation, water, and fertility. The Aztec's Xucoatl represents the destructive and purifying aspects of fire. The Amphisbina of Greco-Roman myths, a creature of the earth, and the shape-shifting Nguruvalu of Mapuche mythology connect us to the natural world. Lastly, the Zhao Long from Chinese myths associated with water and rain ties in the global prevalence of serpent symbolism. So, the next time you encounter a serpent in a story, remember they are more than just creatures of fear and fascination. They are symbols of our shared human experience, resonating across cultures and times. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, smash the like button and subscribe.